What's going on, everybody? You back? Rocking with Sweet Science. You're on the air. Um, last three months, man, has been real eventful. You know, we didn't have the whole virus issue, um, so that's impacted everybody's lives and stuff like that. So that's one reason why I haven't um, been uploading as much, just because that kind of shook up the world. So I kind of had to get a grip on things as far as what life was going to be like and trying to adjust to it. I mean, it's not really much to adjust to besides wearing masks that, you know, they want us to wear. But um, so, you know, that was going on. I had my daughter. Um, so this is my second take on um, on the video. But what I was explaining is that, you know, I didn't really have much time to upload to the channel because I just had a baby. Um, but I was still paying attention to boxing. And there's so much to talk about in boxing right now. Um, so, um, I'm back, back in full effect. We're going to be dropping videos, just talking boxing. That's, that's it. Um, you know, my channel is not, you know, it's not a major channel. Um, so you're not going to get major comments and major commentary, stuff like that. Like this ain't mainstream media. This is like hardcore, a hardcore boxing fan channel. So, you know. If you're not a hardcore boxing fan and you find yourself here, welcome. If you are a hardcore boxing fan, then this is the place for you. So what I want to talk about today is uh, the Danny Garcia and Errol Spence Jr. matchup. And I'm going to talk the breakdown of it. And then I'm going to talk my prediction of it, of what I think is going to happen and take place. So um, the first place I want to start is Danny Garcia. I'm going to light up for this one. Now, my problem, my problem, one of my only problems, if not my only problem, but one of my problems with Danny wanting now to do the fight with Errol is that it seems like Before Arrow had the accident, it seems, I could be wrong. I mean, I never had no conversation with Danny, but this is the way it seems to me. Before Arrow had the accident, it seemed like nobody wanted to fight him. You know what I'm saying? Um, except Sean Porter. Um, I'm going to give Sean Porter his props on that. Um, he had a superb fight. I actually had Sean Porter winning that fight with Arrow Spence um, by a round. Um, but that's another story. So nobody aside from Sean Porter really wanted to fight Errol Spence. Um, I remember they asked Danny Garcia about it. And he just blew it off. He was all like nonchalant about it. Basically, you know, when fighters do that, that means the, they, they don't plan on fighting that person you're talking about. So he had no like, you know, Errol Spence wasn't even on Danny's radar. Then all of a sudden, you know, he wins the belts. Um... And Errol gets into a car accident, as we all know. He comes out of the accident. Um, you know, some people have said that Errol's not the same. I don't know. I haven't seen him personally. Um, some people say that he's better than he was before. Um, so I guess we won't know until fight night. Um, but Errol has the accident, and then it seems like everybody mentions them now so what i think is they think that they smell blood that's what they think they think that maybe arrow's not what he was before and now would be a time to attack which is which is you could say it's strategic or smart or on the flip side of that you could say that's a coward move you know um wait till the guy's not you know what he's supposed to be to try to fight him. But from what I believe I've been hearing, um, you know, he didn't miss a step. He doesn't have any lifelong injuries aside from his teeth. But, you know, you could pay for new veneers. Ask Ivan Redcash. Um, you know, you could pay for new veneers. So other than that, he don't have no lifelong injuries. He didn't break no bones. So I don't see why people... And he got cleared by his doctor. So I don't see why people would think that he's not um, back in the right space to take a fight. Now, 
You also got people saying stupid shit like. Danny Garcia is being disrespected by Errol Spence for Errol Spence taking the fight after his accident as his first fight and not a tune up. So let me get this straight. It's disrespectful for Errol Spence to give Danny Garcia a title shot at not one but two belts. That's disrespectful. See, you guys who say stuff like that, you not you don't know what you're talking about. But most people don't know shit about boxing. That's not disrespectful. If the man got cleared by his doctor or doctors, he said out his own mouth that he has no lifelong injuries. He was back in the gym immediately. He's looking better than before, according to some sources. It's disrespectful for him to offer Danny Garcia a title shot at two belts? Come on, man. Y'all got to do better. Y'all got to do better. I know. I hope y'all know better. So that rhetoric right there is just goofy. I think, um, I think it's a good fight. I think it's a great fight. Um, I want to say I have Arrow winning. But, you know, anything can happen, man. Like, when Errol fought Sean, I think Sean Porter outworked him. I mean, I really don't feel like either one of them absolutely dominated the fight. But I think Sean Porter won more rounds than Errol. Now, Errol did have a 10-8. With the knockdown in the, I think, the 11th round, he knocked Sean Porter down. Um, but aside from that 10-8 round, I think it from how I had the fight, I think Sean would have still been up around. So, you know, um, it is what it is, though. You know how judging goes in boxing. We can't never, man. Only, only, only sure way to make sure you don't get cheated in a boxing match and it, it's it cheated on the decision because you could still get cheated in the actual fight as Tyson Fury. Um, the only way to not get cheated for the decision is to knock him the fuck out. It can't be a decision if he's not awake for it. If he doesn't make the 10 count, it can't be a decision. And, you know, so... You know how judging goes in boxing. So Sean didn't get the decision. Errol did, and I'm not mad at it. It's like you know, anybody watching it, I think it go, it, it could go, it could go either way. You know, for the casual boxing fan, a decaf watching it. You know what I'm saying? But me myself, I think I would have had Sean still win that fight. But nevertheless, Errol won, and he retained his belts. Now he had his accident a month or two after that, something like that. He goes into the fight with Danny. He gives him a title shot um, when he comes back. Now, as for the actual fight itself, I think uh, I see round one. It's going to be Errol's first big fight since his accident. Danny's fought, I think, I think twice since that accident. I think. Um, but I know for sure he fought once because he fought Ivan Redcash. And I remember that because Ivan Redcash turned into Dracula on him and bit him. But um, I know he fought Ivan Redcash. Now Ivan Redcash ain't like no, ain't no top tier at the weight class. But he he still stayed busy, Danny. You know what I'm saying? Um, Arrow had to re rehabilitate and then go into camp again. So I think the first round is going to be probably a little tough on Arrow. But Danny's not a fast starter, so I don't think there's really going to be much. Of anything in the first round. Uh, the second round. I see the pace picking up. Just a tad. I think Danny's going to be ahead a little bit. Because again. Even if Errol is 100%. He hasn't had the accident. Um, Danny hasn't had the accident. Even if Errol is 100%. Because he's still going to have the ring rust. Of a big fight. So. Um, 
I think the second round probably will go to Danny Garcia. Um, he's probably going to look sharper than Errol Spence. I think uh, the third round, Errol's going to actually have to step on the gas a little bit. So do what Danny did in the second round. Um, and I think that third round will probably still even come out and be even. Uh, round four. Round four. I think Danny Garcia starts to recognize that Errol is probably stronger than he thought he was. Um, which is probably going to bring out more intensity in Danny Garcia. So round, round four is probably going to be a good round. It'll probably go either way. Round five, probably either way. Round six, probably either way. In the seventh round, somebody's getting clipped. And if I had to put my money on it, it's not going to be Arrow. I think it's Danny. Um, I don't know. I can't think if I've ever seen Danny Garcia go down, to be honest. Um... But I think in the seventh round, somebody's going to get clipped. And I think it could be Denny. I think Errol's going to uh, really push the gas. And Denny's not going to expect it because nobody's really going to expect it because everybody thinks that Errol's injured and he's damaged goods. So I think he's going to get blasted. I don't know if the fight's going to be over or not. I don't, I'm don't. i going to say no because we know Denny Garcia has a chin. Um, this is a fact. So... Um, and understand, being knocked down doesn't mean that he has to fall. His glove could touch the canvas, like as with Sean Porter and Errol Spence. Sean Porter didn't get knocked down. He did That dude didn't fall, bro. That man caught himself with his glove. But if your glove touched the canvas, then that, my friend, in the rules of boxing, is a down. So, um, yeah, I, it doesn't mean that Danny has to get knocked out or knocked down. But I think he's going to get clipped in the seventh round. Eighth round, he's probably going to try to survive, and he probably will. Um, ninth round, he's going to wear, I think Errol's going to wear Danny down. I think Errol knocks Danny out in 10. Errol in 10, I think. So that's my prediction for the fight. Errol in 10, um, but I think it's going to be a hell of a fight, uh, especially in the middle rounds. I think when he gets to the 10th round. I think Errol Spence is going to do the impossible, and I think he's going to knock out Danny Garcia. Um, we've never seen Danny get knocked out. I'm Like I said, I'm not even sure if we've, ever, if we've ever even seen Danny get knocked down, but I think if the stories about Errol are true, about him coming back and returning and how he's looked in camp and in the gym, um, and now that he's supposedly more focused than he was before, if that's true, um, and then in, in the videos that he just posted, the dude was looking kind of diesel, bruh. I don't, did he weigh 147? Yeah, they need to check his weight the day of the fight because that dude looked big as hell. So I just think that this is going to be the arrow that Arrow was trying to be before the accident. I say Arrow Spence in 10. But anyway, that was my first video back. My prediction for the Danny Garcia Errol Spence fight. Um, I think it's going to be a hell of a fight. Two of my favorite fighters. Um, in boxing, there is no loser. First of all, they get paid ridiculous amounts of money. So in boxing, there is no loser. And two, you know, it takes a man to get in the ring. And three, uh, just because a fighter loses, it doesn't mean that he's not skilled or, or anything like that. It's boxing. It's a sport at the end of the day. So, you know, we want to see each other go home to each other's families and things like that. So... I, I fucks with Danny Garcia and I fucks with Errol Spence. I think it's going to be a good fight and I got Spence in 10. Again, subscribe to the channel. Sweet science.